what is up bras and welcome back and happy new year now i got some huge goals for this year with even more videos being made and each one being higher quality than the last and i cannot wait to share them with you all first off i wanted to let you know that the ps4 and xbox giveaway is still going on and anyone that purchases the combo with my new coastline colada flavor plus the ubisoft licensed valkyrie shaker will automatically be entered to win the winner will be chosen at the end of january or when we sell out or whichever one comes first plus the winners of the Rainbow Six Siege Ultimate Edition giveaway from the last video are being drawn right now so if you won then you should hear from me with a reply to your comment within the next few hours. Now we're going to be kicking the year off with a huge Discord tricks video all with new Operation Shifting Tides tricks for you to get easy kills with. Now if you also have a trick that you would want to submit for a chance to be featured in a future episode then head on over to my Discord linked down below. Here as well, but oh, coconut oh. Ball with the angles. I love oh. that. What? What happened? Didn't even see him. There you go. He's got it lined up. He'll do it. Need to oh. Oh, it's so Up first is this new way to use Mira to get it to chip an extra piece of a reinforced wall out for an extra sneaky angle on corners. This was sent to me by Leaks on December 17th which is almost a week before I started seeing it being posted elsewhere but it's just too cool to not mention in this video. There are multiple places you can do this across many different ranked maps and I'll be quickly going through some of the best spots to use it in. Once you shotgun a couple of holes in the side of the wall, you can then reinforce it and then the corresponding corner also. After doing that, you will then be able to place your mirror closer to the side than usual since you don't have that soft wall in the way, and it will then chip out a piece of the other reinforced wall for sideways angles that you can use to surprise the crap out of your next victims. As you can see, there are a ton of places that you can pull this trick off, so be on the lookout the next time you play. There are also places that you can do this where the top of the reinforced wall does not hit the ceiling, so that makes for a ton of opportunities for really tricky C4s to go flying over two walls and onto somebody that's not expecting it at all. Now if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram then you saw this one first but here we have an interesting pre-fire spot to get early kills by one tapping a few rounds from Visa all the way to the back of the wall in the gas station spawn on consulate. All you're going to need to do in order to get this one is to open up the window and then stand at an angle before pre-firing shots through the tree branches where you see me shooting. Now if anybody spawns in the gas station area then within a few seconds of the round there's a chance that you will get this nasty kill on the poor player that takes a few steps forward. The next spawn peak that we're going to be doing is nearly impossible to counter and is incredibly safe to go for which makes it that much better. Now we all know by now that one of the most common places to spawn peak is from one of the cigar windows. Now when attackers come around the corner from the market spawn they're usually checking those windows while turning the corner here. This corner also just happens to be the exact lineup to perfectly get a line of sight from the red stairs right onto where attackers usually slow down to check for those windows and that'll be your opportunity to get this nasty pick. 
The next spawn peak we're going to be doing is this new window run on the theme park rework to be able to shoot towards the main entrance as well as the bumper car spawn. By vaulting on top of the computers in the control room, you're just going to need to crouch and stand on the edge until you feel yourself slightly drop. From there, you can just aim at the bottom left of the windowsill and then sprint towards it. Once you're in front of the windowsill, you can just crouch and then you will land nicely inside of the window. This spot is really good because there's no spawns directly in front of the window and the main entrance spawn is far off to the side where they will need to be checking those windows first so you'll have time to peek towards bumper cars and then switch if needed. And of course if you need to you can just drop back inside of the control room when you're done or after you get your early kill on the enemy team. Up next, we have two sneaky spots that you can get yourself into to get angles into storage. This first one is best used as a Cali angle or even as a Bosti ACOG angle because when defenders move across this line of sight, you're going to want to do as much damage as possible by landing a single shot. This is nearly impossible to see if you're defending and rotating around this corner in the storage room is a really high traffic area, so you'll have multiple chances to get the shot off. The second option for a similar angle is going to be by getting on top of the cafeteria stairs railing and then peeking over the metal cart for a similar angle as the prior one. This one is good for any attacker and you'll be closer to the site so if you need to jump off and get inside quickly it'll be that much faster. Another option Dan figured out to get on top of the railing is to vault on top of the barrel and then walk around the circle end to stand on top of the rail and this one is really quick to get into. Up next is a crazy Cali angle that we're going to cover and it honestly might be one of the furthest shots that exists in Siege right now. With Cali Sniper out, we're going to be all the way on the south side aiming northwest to line up a shot that goes through the big lobby door, through the bathroom door and walls and landing it all the way to yellow stairs. This is one of those just random angles that you could go shoot once and see if you get someone and it's not one that's going to be a crazy high percentage but it's so insane I just had to include it. Up next is going to be a crazy sneaky counter to a common spawn peek on Outback. Now if anybody is peeking the window in garage and looking towards the gas pump spawn to take anyone out, then you're going to be given a free kill using this line of sight. All you're going to need to do is go prone on the south side of the white truck and there will be a gap underneath that will line up right at the chest level of anybody on the window. If you're using a sniper or boss GA cog then you have the best chance to get a kill but this at the very least will get them to back off even even if you're using something like Ash's R4C and you only land a couple shots. They will be so confused and they won't even be able to shoot back as long as you don't go too far to the side. So it's a good spot to keep in the back of your mind. Up next is a quick pixel peek you should be aware of when playing on the new theme park rework. Now when somebody is standing on the arcade stairs there's actually this pixel that exists to land at head level of anybody coming from the cafeteria. Of course, this works both ways, so if you have an ACOG defender anchoring here and holding the angle, it will be incredibly difficult to counter even if you know about it because of how hard it is to line up. Up next, we're gonna be taking advantage of the Kaid buff in range that he received to his Electro Claws by using this cool spot that the legend Magic Cast posted on Twitter. With Kaid's new range, you can now successfully trick the entire garage while keeping the Electro Claws safe from shots on the catwalk. Now, these still can be taken out with Thatcher's EMPs, but most likely the Thatcher should be more focused on the balcony wall when attacking Cash. So this is a great spot to throw off the attackers and force them to funnel in the garage door like a 300 replay for easy multi kills. Now moving back to theme park, we're going to be doing two Valkyrie C4 combos that are really strong and the C4s are going to be coming from really unexpected areas for a high percentage chance to get a kill or two. This first one is going to be from the waiting room and from here you can get a cam that overwatches the top 
as well as Dragon below. Even if you choose not to combo this with a C4, it is still going to have a ton of valuable information on attackers, so there's a benefit no matter what. If you see attackers try to use the Dragon statue for cover, then you can then yeet the C4 over the top of the wall to fly two stories and land behind the Dragon to punish anybody holding angles from behind that cover. For the second Valkyrie C4 combo, we're going to be headed to the new balcony outside of Dragon Stairs where we are going to be throwing a camera outside and it doesn't need to be this exact one. In fact, if you choose to use this exact camera, you might want to throw it from the door instead of vaulting out of the window to avoid getting shot in the back from bumper cars or you can simply throw a different camera out here. The main idea here is that a lot of people don't realize that the new balcony is destructible. So once you have some sort of intel, you can then go below and C4 from the bottom for easy kills because so many attackers stop up here, they drone, they don't even check the bottom first. You're gonna have the window as well as the monkey door to run out from and right now it's literally just free kills by doing the C4 trick. Anyways, bra fam, that's gonna wrap it up for this first video of 2020. I hope you liked it and learned something that'll get you many wins and make the other team rage. Thanks for sticking around to the end. You are a legend. I love you all. I'll see you all very soon in the next video. Peace.